Recently, I posed a question to a large group of dental hygienists in an online forum, and I asked this question. If you could get your doctor to purchase one thing that would improve your work life, what would that one thing be? Well, I got hundreds of answers back, but two answers predominated. One was sharp instruments or new instruments or even a sharpening service. The other answer was loops or magnification. Well, that was interesting because today we're going to talk about sharpening instruments, but you're going to learn how loops will help you in your instrument sharpening. So that's where we're going to go today. Every dentist or hygienist knows the importance of having good sharp instruments to work with. So when you're working with dull instruments, I think a great illustration is like trying to scrape paint off the barn with a football. Nobody could do that. So uh, having sharp instruments is really, really key. It, it helps keep your patients comfortable. It's less fatigue on the hand having sharp instruments. So I think we all understand it's important to have sharp instruments. But my experience is many hygienists and dentists do not know how to properly sharpen their instruments. Now, when I was in dental hygiene school, I was taught this method is the worst method ever where the stone is stationary on the table and you take your instrument and you swipe it on the stone. Well, the problem with that is you can't see the angles, so you have no idea if you have the right angle or not. It, it just doesn't work well at all. Another method that was more recently uh, taught and is taught now in most of the dental hygiene schools is the method where you hold the instrument in your non-dominant hand and you hold the stone in your dominant hand and you rub the stone against the side of the instrument. Well, the problem with that is sometimes the stone may be a little bit too angled or maybe not angled enough and it is the rare person that could maintain that angle with every swipe of the stone. And the problem is where the instrument is dull is about one to four millimeters out to the end of that instrument where it's used the most. And then you have this stone that's like a big bar of soap. And so you, you take off way more metal than you need to remove with those swipes. 